The theory goes that Macs are not good for gaming. I don't know where people get that idea. But what if there was some device that brought console level gaming to the Mac? Hey, I'm Jerry. And yes, okay, so there is a history of Macs not having great gaming chops, right? People can't game on Macs. They don't come with the right hardware. They don't come with the graphics cards that people want. People have just given up on Macs for gaming and publishers have given up on Macs having the hardware and the customer base to create games for them. But none of that matters if you can just use an existing game console and connect it to your Mac. Sounds like a good idea. A couple weeks ago, somebody left a comment on my channel, which made me start thinking. He said, I wish Apple included HDMI in the iMacs and MacBooks, Mac Mini, Mac Pro for PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Series S and X, and a UHD Blu-ray player. That would have been awesome. They missed the boat on that. As for many, this is their only large screen device in a dorm, or a teenager may not want to take up the family TV or play their or play their console all the time or watch UHD movies, and whatever. So that got me thinking, can I connect a console to the IMAX with HDMI in? So after a little bit of research, I came across this Elgato HD60S Plus. This is a little HDMI capture device that allows you to take HDMI in and then output it via USB to a computer. There's also another HDMI output on the back so you can output to another monitor or display. But really this device is made for recording, video game playing or something into a computer and for live streaming. Now I'm not interested in live streaming or gaming online or recording my videos because I'm, just, I'm really bad at playing games. But the idea of a single device to sit on your desk to be your computer and your entertainment hub and your gaming hub all with one single display actually sounds pretty cool. So I bought this to give it a shot. Now I actually used to play quite a bit of games, mostly first person shooters and things like Grand Theft Auto on the PS2 and PS3 and uh, the Xbox One and of course all of the original Nintendos and Playstations and Sony, uh, Segas. However, that's not really something that I've kept up with over the last few years. So, you know, cut me a little slack in this gameplay. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing set up. We'll connect this to the Xbox One X with HDMI in, and then we'll do USB out to the iMac. And we'll see if we can game on a Mac. So the first thing that we need to do is plug in the HD60S Plus into the iMac, and then also connect the HDMI from the Xbox. The HDS60 Plus does come with a USB-C to USB-A cable to power and connect the HD60S Plus but because the iMac only has USB-C and Thunderbolt ports on the back, I'm going to be connecting with a USB-C to USB-C cable, and I'll leave a link in the description below for a cable if you need to pick one up. All right, as for the Elgato software, we're going to go to the elgato.com website. We're gonna to go to downloads. We're going to select our product, which is the HD60S Plus for Mac, and game capture. That's what we're going to download right there. Maybe, there we go. We're going to save that, and then we'll go ahead and just install that like you normally would. Except it's not an install file, you just need to drag it over to the applications folder. Great, so now we should be able to open that up. And if this is the first time opening it, you're going to be asked for permission to connect to the camera and to the microphone. And now that you've accepted the permissions, you have the Game Capture HD window, we're gonna go ahead and make that full screen just to start. Now. By default, it's going to be wanting to connect to this screen link thing right here, which is basically a way to send your screen from your iPhone and iPad over to this Game Capture application. But we're gonna go ahead and change that to the Game Capture HD60S, which is what the Xbox is connected to. And look at that. So right away, you can see we have the Xbox interface right here, and I'm using the controller to move around, and it looks like it's working. There's a couple settings you might wanna configure. So to do that, you're gonna to go to the top right and click on this little settings icon right here. And from here, you can select an input device. It's got some predefined uh, configurations that you can select from, which just kind of change, I think, the colors and maybe a couple of other settings. So I have an Xbox connected. I connect the Xbox or I select the Xbox. We're gonna allow 60 frames per second for video preview. Now, of course, this game capture software is there to allow you to stream to the internet. So you can stream to different services or you can just record your gameplay and include it in another video later. However, I'm not going to be streaming or recording my videos. I just wanna be able to see what I'm doing. I wanna be able to connect a device to the iMac and play it. And of course, I do want 60 frames per second. You can also fine tune the picture a little bit if you need to with brightness, contrast, saturation, and hue. 
audio, you can adjust the gain, and then you can save your profiles if that's what you want to do. We're just gonna go ahead again and select 60 frames per second for video preview. We have the Xbox selected and profile 1080. And that should be good for what I want to do. And click OK. So now from here, I should be able to go ahead and start a game. So we're just gonna go over to Call of Duty World War II. And you'll see the screen kind of expand and contract at different times. So anytime there's a change in the HDMI connection, it basically brings up the configuration window. But after a few seconds, it goes away and you get the expanded full screen view. So we're just gonna go ahead and resume game. And you can see I'm definitely gonna get my butt kicked here. Oh, yep. Let's see if I can even get somebody before I get taken out. Sweet, I got a couple people. And what you're gonna notice is that besides me being horrible at this, is that the gameplay is very smooth. It's actually very good. There is no lag. It is playing at a full 60 frames per second as far as I can tell, and it feels really good. There's no delay at all between moving the controls around and what's happening on the screen. So you're not getting any kind of added delay through this game capture card through the HDS 60 plus, S plus, whatever, you know what it is. Now, although the Xbox One X can play in 4K, this capture card will only do 60 frames per second in HD. Oops, that's my guy. Don't do that, and I'm dead. And even though you're not getting 4K or full HDR playing through this iMac, you do get a good experience. You get full 1080p at 60 frames per second gaming, which is pretty much all you really need, right? I mean, I'm not a real gamer, but I'm content playing this, I have no issues. I do get annoyed if there's any kind of lag or stutter, like playing online. Like I tried the Xbox Cloud, the X Cloud system, whatever it is, I tried playing it on the iMacs and on my iPad, and it was awful. Just any little movement, there was that bit of lag, or actually sometimes a lot of lag, and that drives me insane. So if there was lag on here, I would definitely notice, and I would tell you. Now don't make fun of me. I have this game called Super Lucky's Tale and I got it for my daughter and it's actually a really good, fun game. It's a very good family game. Now, of course I grew up playing Nintendo and Mario 64 was my favorite Mario game of all. And this one is very reminiscent of Mario, right? You just go through levels, a lot of them are side scrolling, but then there's these little different types of levels and worlds you need to go into that each have different challenges. Now, one of the things you're probably wondering about is sound. And yes, the iMac, of course, has its built-in speakers. And the HDMI coming from the Xbox to the iMac has sound. So let's crank up that music. And look at that. So the iMac can do, obviously, sound and video. And you get pretty good gaming experience. It's actually not bad. Let me go back to the other game real quick because it's probably a little bit more interesting. All right, so let's check out the audio using Call of Duty real quick. And of course, the iMac has those built-in speakers, which actually do sound really good. They may not be the bassiest speakers you've ever heard, but they're very clear, and they do pretty well for you know multi-dimensional audio coming from these games. And again, playing online, there's no lag in the movements. Let's see if I can get anybody. No, those are my guys. I'm terrible at this. Oh, oh. and I'm out. So as you can see, audio and video wise, it actually looks really good connecting an Xbox One X or probably just about any console to the iMac. You get great 60 frame per second, 1080p video, and you get good audio coming out of it that you can control up and down with the keyboard. It's a pretty good little system. So I know a lot of people are going to ask, what about a Nintendo Switch? And yes, you absolutely can Tokyo Drift your way through Mario Kart, if that's what you wanna be doing using an iMac as your display. And it works just like it does on the Xbox with full 1080p you know, video and very good sound as well. So you're not gonna have any issues. It looks like connecting any console to the iMac, which is pretty awesome actually. And so now you might be wondering how far can you push it? Can you connect something like a Roku or a Fire Stick or an HD DVD Blu-ray player or something like that to the iMac? And that answer is yes. You can connect pretty much anything with HDMI through the HDS60 Plus into the iMac. However, you are probably going to run into some issues with HDCP. So for the most part, it looks like it's going to be just fine, but if we go ahead and just find something to play, or eventually, we're just going to be getting this HDCP error. So whether that's a Roku or an Apple TV or an Amazon Fire Stick or Blu-ray player or some other thing that uses HDCP and enforces it, 
you're going to run into issues and you won't be able to play that protected content. Now, I was able to play Netflix from the Netflix app on the Xbox to the iMac without any issues. So there's no HDCP handshake error there for some reason, but I do get it using a Roku. And just because I know that a number of you are going to ask, yes, you can of course do this on a MacBook Pro or MacBook Air or any other Mac. I've tried this on my Intel iMac as well. So this HD 60S Plus is pretty darn cool and definitely allows you to play games on your Mac. So Macs maybe aren't so bad for gaming. I mean, Macs are better for gaming than I am at gaming on Macs, but you know. All right, so I guess that's pretty much it. This Elgato HD 60S Plus can absolutely allow you to game on your Macs using any connection or gaming connection or gaming console that uses HDMI. It works pretty darn good. It gives you a good 1080p 60 frame per second video and great sound coming from the built-in speakers of the iMac or the MacBook Pro. And of course, you should be able to add additional external speakers or external monitors for a bigger display or more sound if that's what you want to do. But by themselves, you can absolutely game console game on a Mac. Using things like a Roku or Apple TV or some other kind of video player, your mileage will probably vary and probably just mostly just veer off the road because it's just gonna have HDCP issues. However, like I said, I was able to get Netflix from the Xbox streaming to the Mac without any issues. So that's always a potential option if you're looking for more of a video console thing. And to answer the original question from the comment on my channel, yes, the iMac can be your only screen for computing and entertainment needs. Anyway, I'm curious, what do you guys think? Is this something that you guys wanna try or are there better options for video capture cards that allow you to do the same thing? Let me know below. If you're interested in anything Mac related, definitely check out some of my other videos on my channel and I you know, hope you subscribe. Definitely hit the thumbs up button if you liked it and I'll see you next time.